reminded me of here uh again look if you haven't seen it look it up it's hilarious it's like a 20 second video and it's very funny uh but neither here nor there as we get past the kind of the funniness and the serious and, and the goofiness of it all we got homeboy uh telling our, our 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 character here about some tragedies that went down in this particular place of town and the water here and some things some terrible horrific things have went down and again based on history based on this show tackling real life circumstances i looked up some things and this this ain't this ain't just made up this ain't just made up here this is apparently a, a true story uh called lake lanier uh, and apparently in Lake Nanir, uh, as as we kind of alluded to in this episode, people come up missing when they go to this lake. And, and a little bit more particularly, uh, back in the in the 50s, U.S. government shifted some families, drove them out in construction. Homes and businesses were displaced and, uh, you know, recorded in the in the in the bottom of this lake here. And like you all can see on the screen now, there have been many freaky things that's been going down over there in that lake. Uh, drownings, uh, uh, boat incidences, uh, people have died on this uh, under the water. And, and as they say, they feel like someone was pulling them underwater. So uh, yeah, like I said, Atlanta, they be, you know, so fun and games. Yeah, we having a good time, but they be throwing in some real life stuff and it makes you be like, Oof. it's a crazy dark world out there i'd say you but let me know if you all knew about that lake lanier uh um uh situation there and, and again based on what i saw online this is something that is um you know quote unquote an urban legend that uh does have some uh, validity to uh some of the terrors and racism that went down near this lake lanier area so again first time hearing about it and uh yeah Atlanta brings it to the light. They definitely do. It didn't dawn on me. I'm like, that looks familiar. His look looks familiar. That sign looks familiar. And then if you all do not know, just to put a little uh, context to tonight's episode with three slaps, this individual here, he goes by the name of Javante Hart. I was pulling this up while I was uh, while we were uh, talking over. Let me pull up the screen here and let you all kind of give you some little insight of this gentleman that uh, unfortunately passed away uh not passed away but was was murdered and this is a true story ladies and gentlemen back in 2018 trevante hart uh, a teenager who was murdered by his adoptive mothers uh, this photo 2014 during a black lives matter black lives uh, uh matter protests uh and, and four years later unfortunately this young man was killed uh in, in, a, in a family crash uh again you guys can look it up here uh just type in javarte hart but as you guys can see he here was suicide orchestrated by his adoptive moms back in 2018 a hart family was driven off of a hundred foot cliff in california um and yeah they, they the investigation into death and abuse abuse by the parents white lesbian couple came to light um, so yeah, rest in peace to this individual here, this young black man uh, murdered by his abductive parents. Damn. Like again, and I was like, this looks so familiar. And as you all can see, this is a true story, man. Sad, true tragedy. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. And again, it was the show. It hits on so many levels. It hits on so many levels as we see 